On this episode of The Wild Table, we're back with Andrew for another Peacock Cup. This time around, we're more timely in the season though, and the birds are strutting their stuff in full glory. We're hot on the action before long, but these are cunning birds and by no means easy to hunt. Along the way, we find a mob of plum turkeys and take the opportunity to add a few more wild birds to our freezer. Okay, what's up guys? We're back on the farm with Andrew over here. Now, um, a little bit later last year, we um, shot our very first peacock on this farm, which is something that at the time I was really freaking excited to do. Um, yeah, so that was that was a, an awesome hunt. And since then, we've been back and hunted with you a couple of times, I think, yeah, as and such. Yeah. But we haven't had the chance at another peacock. And also last time around that we were here hunting a peacock, they, we didn't get one with a full tail. Um, so we're kind of back here in hopes of finding a peacock um, with the full tail on because it's sort of just coming up breeding season for them. I think breeding season is end of August day for the birds. Yeah, around there. Yep. Yep. So, so we're sort of pretty hopeful of finding, finding a full tail peacock here. However, failing that, we've also got a whole lot of turkeys running around. Um, so our primary target is going to be a peacock and then backup option would be to um, take home a turkey. Maybe we'll take home a turkey anyway. We'll see. <laughs> Fine. You've got your trusty bowl, so yep. we'll see yep. if you can pick up something with that. And of course we've got Jim leading the way. Hopefully. So, yeah, let's get into it, man. Let's I do some it. hunting. Let's go. Get in. Get in. Just fucking good being back out here. Such a such a cool place to hunt. Um, Andrew's just gonna go ahead and see if you can pick up something with the bow. It'd be really cool to see Andrew like get a, a cool shot and take something down with the bow. Bow hunting is sort of something that's that's definitely on my list to get into. Pretty inexperienced at it so far. So I've got the trusty 2 to 3 here. And 2 to 3 is actually a really good caliber for um, for birds like like um, peacocks and geese. I've tried shooting them in the past with a 17 HMR and they just they can absorb a bit more of a punch than you think. Hopefully there'll be something just over the top over here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just past this rise just here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look. It's only for a short time. Bam. That was like a, quite a good group eh? There was like five or six like fully grown peacocks in there. Yeah, that quick though, we got busted real quick. Yeah, we got busted real quick. Yeah. Just gonna carry on this way. Yeah, mate. Yeah. I saw him come out from down low, so I don't think he knew we're here. It's not like he's in a big hurry. No, it's not that. Oh, no, it is. If we just stand under these trees for yeah, a little while, yeah. just look. We've got plenty of time just yeah. to sit. They'll be hiding in that bush. I reckon it'd be a good idea to have a look through that bush. I've actually never been in there. I've always hunted the outside of it, but I'd like to have a look down in there. Cool. Yeah, if I can get within about 70, 80 metres, I'll give it a go. Roger. So I've seen a couple of big peacocks down the hill. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sneak down. Andrew stalks into the bush to have a crack at these birds we watch from up the hill with his bow. It's not long however before the majority of that very muster of peacocks we saw before make a sly exit 100 meters or so further up the valley. 
I can't help but admire these guys for their behavior and intelligence, which is kind of the very reason why I get to hunt them in the first place. Peacocks originate in the Indian subcontinent, where they are largely illegal to hunt on account of having been declared India's national bird. They were introduced to New Zealand in 1843 as an ornamental pet of sorts, but have since naturalized in the country in wild populations. And since New Zealand has very few predators that can actually harm these birds, their population is well and truly rising. It's took a heap of feathers out. Yeah. But there's no meat or blood or anything. Right. My arrow was clean. Yeah, right. So it was a... I just heard him flapping. Like you, you were ruined. Like I was standing up here in the bush and you were down there, but he just uh, heard one in a tree. Oh, yeah. Run way up high in a tree, I can't. It's like 25 meters high. Worth having a look with us? Yeah, you could do. See if Jim can drink it. Yes, 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 yes. Get out of it, get out of it. Get nice. Out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Awesome. Bloody hell. Good. That was that was about as perfect as you could ask for today. Eh? Oh my god. Long bird that one. Yeah. Look at the other ones, they were scarper there. Eh? Yeah, they were took off as you shot them after you shot them, the whole lot took off. Yeah. Oh, well, shooting straight enough for that. Bloody awesome. Bigger tail than the last one that we shot. Oh, well, that was a that was just perfect scenario, eh? I thought I was aiming at the one with the big tail. <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah, I thought there was a big tail. Yeah, but yeah, Okay, so I was aiming at yeah, the right bird, yeah, yeah. eh? Yeah, no, it was the one that I thought you'd drop. Yeah. Uh -huh. Easy when you're up a tree. Yeah. Nice. Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. But no, but they were, they were sort of just sitting on the top, very top of a tree, about what, 30, 30 odd meters yeah, up? Easy. Easy 30 yeah. meters up. But there's three of them sitting in there and obviously just keeping an eye on us. It was a real easy shot, direct hit, pretty much just plummeted out of the tree and it was done. So um, it's another, it's another um, younger animal, so you can see the tail is just starting to come up, but it's what would be about two or three years old? Probably, yeah. Because yeah. 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 they don't grow yeah. that, that tail until their second year, so it'll be sort of in their second or third year. Still a freaking gorgeous animal, and that was a direct hit too, which is awesome, it just came straight down. Yeah man, good I'm shot. I'm glad we just had to go and have another look. <laughs> yeah, lucky Jim spotted them up the tree. Yeah, I yeah, reckon yeah. man. Was she, was she indicating? Oh, she knew they were there earlier. Yeah. That's why I looked up and went, oh yes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, go back and have a look. Yep. Oh, bloody awesome man. That was literally, what, like 20 metres into the bush, 30 yep. metres into the bush. And straight up top. So, freaking awesome. Yeah. Peacock on deck. Yes. For the second time. <laughs> awesome. Wow, unreal man, they are just a, uh, just a stunning bird, eh? Um, we'll go back, back down through the middle of these trees and there should be turkeys over there. They'll be up under the trees. Yeah. Um, so we could still bag a turkey, yeah. there could still be peacocks over there. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that was great though, man. I'm, I'm really pleased about that because there was, you couldn't really ask for a better scenario with a rifle. I guess there's no way you could shoot that high with the bow, eh? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. If I was desperate enough, I'd have had a crack had at it. Had a crack at it, yeah. but then I guess it goes out and... Oh, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. But no, yeah, with the rifle, man, just, you know, potato stack to me, boof, straight out of the tree. Yeah. Oh, if I was going to have a shoot with him, with the um, bow, I would have used a small game head and just aim for the chest and then if it would, have, it would go into the chest 
but stay in the bird it right. wouldn't go flying through the air in miles for yeah, yeah. right yep. Mm. yep that one that i shot down here i used a broad head so that just went just cut a heap of feathers i must have mm. got it through here mm. so um yeah unfortunate never mind yeah they're not the easiest bird to hunt though no there's not a lot to uh a lot of feather and not a lot of um area to no kill it <laughs> it's amazing what they can pack away sometimes but that definitely um that definitely knocked him out of the tree yeah yeah he is he fell straight down just about rained on you <laughs> <laughs> cool yeah all right yeah, awesome oh we'll have a little bit of a look around the the rest of the farm and I have a little surprise because it was Andrew's birthday yesterday. So I actually picked up a, a nice bottle of whiskey and some chocolate. Because Andrew likes chocolate. I'm just gonna hide this here and tell Andrew that there's a rabbit sitting right here. <laughs> I just wanted to take a leak. There's a hair, it didn't see me. I just I don't like it just popped up and one right by the fence line, still sitting there. Oh, yeah. okay. Go have a crack at it. I'll show you where it is. Happy birthday, mate. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I can put it back in my backpack now. <laughs> oh, nice, mate. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, mate. Where to from here? Yeah, okay, those turkeys are just over here. So, um, Last time I saw them, they were sort of starting to head upwards. Yeah. So they'll be just over here by those trees, I think. Yeah, that's kind of where I was headed. Yeah, there's a big gully down in there. They're probably sitting inside the hill. Perfect. Yep. Right. Here go. Okay. Give it a go. Give it a go. Jim, come here, Jim. 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 Jim, come here. Jim, come here. You'll get shot, you dopey shit. Come here, Jim. Come here. Stop. Stop. Come here, Jim. Come here, Jim. Come here, Jim. Jim, come. 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 That's, that's good by me. Come on, dude. Okay, cool. Excellent. So, could have shot some more, but that's good. That's good for me. I think should be should be two or three good birds on deck. I'm just gonna walk over there and see. Um, hopefully, they're actually dead. Uh, one of them is still walking. I might just shoot that one again. Andrew, Jim, come here. I don't think it's hit. Which one was that? I thought that hen was shot as well, no? They're just, they're just back to feeding, man. Unreal. Jim's over the way, eh? Yep. Jim, Psst. come, 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 come. <laughs> I think that's just a Tom beating him up, mate. Yeah, I don't think he's been hurt. I think he's just where he is now. Jim, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Fucking hell, they can take a hit, man. Down. Where's he going? He's up now. There we go. He's down. Right. Wow. That's a beautiful tom. Man. Yeah, that's a crazy big. And then another big tom. Check out the beard on it. Man, look at that. Look at me. Oh, shit. It's a big bird. Wicked. What a beautiful bird. Right. Oh, huge big toms. 
far out. I'm gonna get some like meat it. of that. Those are the those are the biggest turkeys that I've seen in New Zealand. They're huge. Shot a few before, but not this thick. They are massive. Four three toms too, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All three big bearded big beards. That's a big one that one. That's that that's one. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. A good time of year to kill turkeys, mate. That yeah. good. That's yep. it? Yep. So uh, we've said this before in a video, but in New Zealand you want to try to kill turkeys only with a month that doesn't have the letter R in it. Doesn't or does? Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. have the letter yeah. yep. July. No, no R in July. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, because otherwise they just have a little bit of an off flavor to them, eh? Yeah, all have the crickets you, that they eat. Have you tried turkey in, during one of those seasons? Yeah, yeah, they don't taste too good. Don't no, taste so yeah, good, eh? No. Yeah. yeah. Buttery sort of. And yeah. I'm generally an advocate for the fact that you can eat anything if you can just cook it nicely. But yeah, I've had some bad experiences with turkey. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this time of year should be nice. So. Yeah. Yeah, and these ones are fat and plump. And yeah. Yeah. No, awesome. Work it, man. Yeah. So, gonna be a fair bit of meat on these guys. Um, and there's a recipe that I'm trying to, um, to, to try out on these birds, so we'll see you around for some dinner. Bloody oath, mate. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, mate. It's been good. Stay tuned for next week's episode, where we tee up with Naveen from the Boombang channel to learn how to cook an authentic South Indian curry with our wild game birds. Boom, bah! <laughs>